Hi, if you remember me, uh, my name's Steve, and uh, it's been a long time since I've done any videos. I'm going to try to make this uh, quick, since I actually did a previous video only to discover I had gone over and uh, that my iPad isn't allowing me to ramble on as much as uh, I would like. Really quickly, um, again, I want to apologize for not doing any of these videos. Uh, those of you people who check in occasionally uh, to see what I'm up to, uh, I apologize. I'm going to really try to do these a little more frequently, maybe once a week. A lot of this had to do with uh, giving up comics. Uh, just, I guess I'm tired of them, um, the expense. Uh, I just really, really wasn't enjoying them. So I sort of uh, gave up and really wasn't reading a whole heck of a lot except uh, like some some freebies and uh, previews that I would get through Comixology. And uh, it wasn't a lot I really felt that I needed to, uh, to talk about. But uh, thanks to the San Diego Comic Con, uh, where I picked up uh, a few uh, a few freebies and even bought a couple of books, um, which I'll try to get to in the next uh, next week or so and talk about them. But just really quickly, sort of get into the uh, the groove, if you will. Um, just want to quickly talk about um, my one of my new favorite titles. Uh, this is Rocket Raccoon. This is issue number two from Marvel. Uh, it's the art, uh, words and uh, art by Scotty Young, um, who I'm not familiar with, but who really does a great job. The art is uh, a lot more cartoony. Um, than the uh, regular Guardians of the Galaxy um, comic, so um, that's that's Rocket, by the way. And if you can if you can make that out, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, Rocket uh, by the uh, not to give a lot away, uh, it spoils everything, but. Um, Rocket believes, has believed for a long time, that he is the last of his kind. Uh, if uh, his original origin uh, was that he had been genetically engineered from a, a regular Earth-type raccoon, uh, along with a number of other creatures who uh, served as um, the workers for uh, an alien race. Um, if you have seen the Guardians of the Galaxy film, I certainly hope you have, because that was fantastic. Um, that's it's, Rocket mentions briefly how he was indeed um, um, modified and uh, um, used um, in uh, by by, uh, by scientists and uh, you can see he's still bitter about it um, anyways um, in the comic which is a lot more light light uh, hearted than that would indicate um, rocket is going about his usual uh, business of uh, being a sort of mercenary and a thief and finds out, discovers that there may be someone impersonating him who is killing people. And um, of course the authorities uh, like Rocket uh, assume that he is the last of his kind so who else would they arrest? Uh, second issue opens up with uh, Rocket in prison. I don't think I'm giving anything major away. Uh, and he's 
making plans to escape, which is what Rocket is very good at. Um, I assume there'll be some other characters uh, uh, from Guardians uh, popping up, uh, especially uh, a certain uh, tree-like uh, being that uh, partners with Rocket on occasion. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be showing up in the second issue. Uh, I'm not sure about the other Guardians. Uh, and it also seems that um, Rocket has uh, may have broken a few hearts along the way, and there seem to be some uh, some ladies who were a little upset with him and have their own uh, agenda. But anyways, that's Rocket Raccoon um, from uh, from Marvel, and I recommend that. This book. I had, I had heard about previously before San Diego and they would just uh, they just come out with the trade paperback collection of Afterlife with Archie which is exactly what you think it's going to be um, it's a darker look at Archie um, and even the uh, the artwork as you can see, is uh, a lot more realistic than um, than we used to. Trying to see. Uh, oh yeah, for instance, uh, there's Archie there, and there's Reggie. Uh, and. Uh, it's exactly what it is. Uh, is it not, there's an unfortunate accident involving um, the pet of one of the main characters. And um, I'm heartbroken uh, about this. Um, he goes to a certain teenage witch and asks her to help him. Um, this goes against the witch's code, which um, her aunts remind her about. But uh, being a real friend, she goes against their wishes. And needless to say, things turn out badly for the teenage witch, badly for um, this character with the crown-like hat and badly for the entire um, town of Riverdale uh, when one uh, character after another is attacked and bitten and comes back to uh, Uh, to increase the horde, if you will. Um, there are also things revealed here about some uh, secondary characters, or even some primary characters, that um, really weren't hinted at, but like sort of reoccurring things in the books that Agia uh, uh, um, Sakasa has sort of... Uh, touches on in uh, kind of an uncomfortable way. Uh, there's relationships between a few characters. Um, it, it, it's, it's an adult comic, not only because of the violence, but also um, some of the... Uh, not, it's, it's not an adult comic as in, like, you know... Um, underground, graphic, sex, violence. Uh, but Well, the violence is graphic, but uh, the sex is sort of implied. But anyways, uh, it really is a, a great book. Um, I finished Trade Back and Back, which I believe collects five to six issues. 
and uh, I'm going to have to pick up more. I uh, think that's going to do it for me. Uh, I think my time is going to be running out shortly, and I don't want this to sh cut off as it did last time. Um, I hope you're watching Doctor Who. Uh, Peter Caldy is is excellent, and uh, I got big hopes for uh, this new season. Um, my my biggest hope is that Clara will find herself thrown out of the TARDIS, well, hopefully into the void, but uh, I think it's time for the impossible girl to uh, go back to being a nanny and uh, someone else to be the new doctor's new companion. I um, also hope you're watching The Last Ship and uh, The Strain, uh, both of which I highly recommend. Uh, hope you're watching Longmire, uh, which is one of my favorite uh, uh, TV shows. And that's going to do it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll try to make this a little more regular in the future. So that's it for me. And peace out.